Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system from the user Creatures of Scenari A. So a massive thank you for them for sending in their system and their system is called the Scenaria system. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what they've prepared for us here. So it uh, should be there. Okay, right. Just saved it now. All right. Ooh. Okay. So what have we got here? Hey. Okay. Cool. Right, so Scenaria. It's a binary system located roughly 7,000 light years from the Sol system near the constellation of Aries. The system consists of an orange dwarf, a red dwarf, and an ultra cool red dwarf. Okay. So the star, the main star of the show, Scenaria A. See what I did there? <laughs> star of the show. <laughs> so, a medium mass orange dwarf harboring eight satellites or planets. Okay, so. Actually, that's how big is this thing? So, only four radius of Jupiter, so not, obviously not the largest thing out there. So, if we're looking radius of Sun, two point. Uh, it's not too, so not too bad. I mean, it's an orange dwarf, isn't it? So, I mean, it's not that much smaller than a sun size object. So, okay, cool. So, first of the planets, so we've got Sonaria R. Arsh. I think I'm saying that right. So here it is. A hot gas giant in a very close proximity to its parent. Very nice. Okay, so there it is. Let's turn off the zone. Okay. Next up, we've got AB over here. A warm, desolate, rocky world. So that's a typical Mercury like object there. Uh, so next up, we've got Scenario AC. A warm Hatwell world with multicellular life. And I do like the ocean colour on there. I like that light, like turquoisey blue, the teal blue. That looks good. I do rate that. Is there an atmosphere? Or... Oh, yeah, it does if you want to switch it on. Yeah, okay. Looks good. That's a nice Earth look. Or... I say Earth like well, but it doesn't really look like Earth, does it? You know, the different shade of blue. So it's a nice lifelike world. Probably the best way to pull it. So, 88, but only zero on the life. Minus 38 average. I think that's just to the game update, and over time, the temperatures change a little differently. So, there it is. Okay. Because this system was probably posted in an older version of the game. And then we have AD over here. So, cream. is a cream-coloured gas giant that is 0.7 Jupiters in mass. Okay. Looking good. We have A.E. Mafra over here. It's a gas giant, only half of Earth's mass. Okay. Looking good. Then we have Scenario A.F., an orange dwarf planet. Over here, looking good. Then we have A.G., a gas giant more massive than Neptune by three Earths with a gradient in its bands. Okay. Nice. Looking good. And we're taking a big jump out to Scenario A. Sedinet is a Venus mass equivalent of Sedna. Nice. I like that. That's a cool little uh, concept. I like how he's taking a twist on some of the objects we know. Um, in our own solar system, having like a little switch up on it. That's quite a cool idea, actually. I do like that. That is pretty awesome. So, anyways, moving on to the next star system, I guess. So, Scenario B. So, this is the Red Dwarf. So, we're taking a jump out to here. So, the next one in this system. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Right. So, the star itself. So, this is a Red Dwarf now. So, it's got 1.1 Jupiter masses, 3.14 Sun's radius so of its mass. So, yeah, a lot smaller there. Okay. So, it does look good actually. Alright. So, 0 0.14 solar masses, 11 planets. Okay. Uh, okay, so first up, we've got a hot dwarf planet here. Looking good. So, next up, we've got a Hatful world constantly in autumn. So, let's have a look here. Ooh, I do quite like that. That's a good looking planet. Hey. Looks good. Yeah, I do like that. Next up, we've got the heavily cratered planet. So that is um, BC over here. Looking good. 
Uh, next up, we got an unenhanceable atmosphere super earth over here. So there we go. Okay, so remember, to be a super earth, it doesn't have to be earth like conditions, it just has to be bigger than earth, pretty much. So there you go. Looking good. Next up, we've got Sonara BF. Unenhanceable atmosphere to uh, the BF. Identical to AD Cream. Ah, okay, so that's what we've already checked out. So it's a similar sister planet. That's pretty cool. Even though it's orbiting a different star. Pretty fascinating stuff there. Okay. Looking good. And also some moons there as well. Blue moon. Looks quite cool, actually. So I think we actually missed one. Let's go to BE, which is this one here. Did we see this one? Less massive than Neptune. Okay. Cool. So there's that one. We've done BF. Now heading to BG. It's a small gas giant that was orbited in Sonara BF 7 billion years ago. Okay. Nice. So we got BH. Roughly one more massive than Neptune. One Earth larger. So there we go. That's tilted on its side as well. Cool, cool. Right, and then lastly, we've got this one over here. Scenario BI. It's a dwarf planet with a ravine stretching some of its equator. Nice. Oh, I like that. He's taken one of the default textures and put a little twist on it. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. And also some asteroid moons to go with it as well. Okay, so there's all those. One of the moons actually has a moon as well. Looking good. Very cool. Alright, nice. So, lastly, we're moving on to Scenario C, the ultra-cool red dwarf. So, we're taking them to the last star here. So this is the smallest of the small, 88 Jupiter masses there, so just about a red dwarf. Okay. So, I'm taking the zone for this guy is really small, okay. Yeah. So, first of the planet, C8. Ultra-cool, uh, ultra, no, uh, a tidally locked Haspel Mesa world. Cool. Walked in the very small red dwarf there. Looking good. So next up we've got CB, a tiny little castle world, and the castle side looks slightly like Greece. Okay. Ooh, quite frozen up by the looks of it. Let's have a little look underneath uh, ice and snow switched off. Okay. Ooh, some red city lights as well. Looks cool. So there's that. Now, moving on, we got CC. Is a gas giant roughly half the mass of Uranus. Okie dokie. Sorry, CD, a Mars like planet over here. It's got the nice red look to it. Yeah, it's looking good. Next up, we got CE. It's roughly Earth size of a red, or toxic red atmosphere. Okay. Oh. So that's what it looks like there. Okay. Alrighty. If you see a frozen Hatwell world or a moon out of orbit, then something has possibly gone wrong, as I have tested this system uh, analysis and fixed any problems. Of course, enjoy the system. Any problems should be commented if possible. Yeah, I didn't like there's any issues. Yeah, it's all in one piece. So there we are. That is the scenario system. So a nice triple system of pretty small stars. Obviously, red, an orange dwarf, a red dwarf, and then a super small red dwarf, the cool red dwarf. So there we are. So yeah, nice little system there. Nice bit of reading as well um, to go with it. So yeah, that was created by the user Creatures of Scenario. So a massive thank you to them for sending their system. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this one, make sure to press that like button as well. Subscribe for more. Helps in our journey to 30,000 subscribers. And also stay tuned for episode 250 of this series because I think we're going to have to do another stream. It's been a while. And we usually do a stream sort of every little milestone with um, this series. So, yeah, we'll do probably a good few hours stream. We go through a lot of systems. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. It'll definitely be on one of the upcoming weekends. So, yeah, there's a little tease for you. But, yeah, with that all said and done, though, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay out there. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.